right, guys, we're back. We're here by the PCS Collectibles booth. Have a look at the Spider-Man Game Reverse one-third piece. The thing that stands out about this piece is the texture. I don't know if this comes through in the video, but the texture on his suit is amazing. No pun intended. The piece looks really cool. I'm one who likes the white accents. I think the game design is awesome. Base on this one's really interesting. It's got a real high gloss to it, which is in pretty cool contrast to his suit, which is more, much more, actually, of a matte finish, more realistic. And then swinging around to Snake Plissken, also one third. It's a pretty good likeness. I think it's uh, serviceable. I guess you could say. Hair looks okay. I think the one piece that sticks out on this that I'm not really wild about is the gun. I think it looks kind of fake, kind of plastic. But overall, not a bad looking piece. Moving over here, a couple pieces in this display of the rock. I think we've seen this one now over the past few months. This one, Unlike Snake, it has an amazing likeness. This looks exactly like Dwayne Johnson. The tattoos look good. Cool looking piece if you're a rock fan. Which I am one, actually. Um, okay, over to the Megatron. Museum statue line. Cool traditional looking piece. Really interesting paint app on this one. And great sculpt. So lastly, moving over to the quarter scale, at least what they're calling quarter scale, turtles. These guys look awesome. They look like they jumped right out of the cartoon. Awesome looking sculpts, really fun. Unlike some of the other sets, they have little to do with realism, <clears throat> but a lot to do with the animation, and, uh, and I think they look great. Okay guys, for those who like the art side of things, I know there's a lot of us out there who uh, appreciate Alex Ross's work. Pretty cool to see his booth here this weekend. It was featuring a number of his Batman pieces. This one, Joker Portraits of Villainy, right out front. And then Batman, Miracle of Crime, Crime Alley piece. Phenomenal artwork. Also this weekend, I know Alex brought back into stock the Tango with Evil Lithograph. I know that you can get it on his website. Real reasonable, $50. And also the Mind If I Cut In Lithograph is also available. And lastly, a couple of pieces I wanted to show you guys. These scars, black and white, that Alex did. Really powerful piece. Fantastic. And then, sitting over here in the corner, is a what looks to be maybe a 20 by 30-ish framed piece of the Tech 1000 variant from Alex. All right, guys, thought I'd bring you into the Diamond Select Toys booth. Let's see what they've got. All right, guys, here at Diamond Select, this is their DC, some of their DC stuff. Can't really tell on the scale list. It kind of looks like maybe eighth scale. It's bigger than tenth. PVC. Cool detail on these. For all the Keaton fans out there. Oh, sorry about the glare. Glass. Keaton fans out there, this one looks pretty cool. <clears throat> like the pose. Looks like Robin's falling off of his perch back there. Moving down, these are a little larger. A 
Lobo looks pretty cool. So does this killing joke. That looks really cool. And then down into the animated series stuff. Here's some of the busts from Diamond Select. I'll tell you what, these look pretty good for the money, 150 bucks. I think these look good sitting on the corner of anyone's shelf. Good value. Then on the Star Wars side, again, really like the bust. The detail on them is really good. And the size, they look to be maybe, well, they, they call them half scale, but mm, not sure. Look a little smaller, maybe? Hard to tell. Some of the pieces look excellent. Particularly like this Chewy. Cool pose. Cool to see him with the goggles on. That's fun. And then like those smaller PVC 8th scale, or at least what I'm calling 8th scale, DC pieces, they've got the Marvel equivalents over here. Characters you don't see too much like Jubilee. This Iceman piece is really cool. Again, $150 price point. I think that's a good value. Rescue. And a few more of the other Marvel pieces. about that head sculpt on Black Widow, but looks pretty good. Hulk, the Hella looks really cool. Again, sorry about the glare. A lot of lights, a lot of glass. Jugs. All right, guys, let's take a walk over to Mesco, see what they got. All right, so here we are over at Mesco Toys, looking at the 112 figures, Mr. Freeze. Tell you one thing that this company does that looks pretty cool are these dioramas. So for you diorama <coughs> collectors or displayers out there, dioramas here look really cool. I like this one a lot with the taxi. That looks awesome. Some of their other Marvel pieces up here. Translucent effect, effect, sorry, on the flames on this one looks pretty cool. Ghost Rider. The light comes right through that. Looks cool. All right, guys. Thought it'd be fun to check out the Funko booth before the crazy hordes get in here. They got this awesome, as you can tell, I'm, I'm six feet. I'm looking up to this thing's got to be 10 feet tall. It's really cool. <laughs> So here we are taking a look at Funko from outside the ropes. Looks like they're fully stocked. Team meeting going on before the craziness ensues. <laughs> okay, thought I'd come back over here to Queen Studios. Give you guys a good look at the half scale Aquaman. Piece looks really cool. Wish they would have had the head, but interesting to get a look at the body. Paint app and sculpt on the torso looks excellent. Really good balance between the gold and orangey kind of color that you usually see on the Aquaman suit. 
for me, usually it leans one way or the other. This one looks spot on, as does the color of the green. Green actually looks a little brighter on the camera than it does in person. Really cool color. Also like the difference in the color of the green and also the finish, the gloss level between his gauntlets and gloves and his pants. The pants are a distinctly different color. Texture, finish, everything makes a ton of sense. For his suit, then moving down to his pants, look pretty cool. And then I think hopefully they stick with just this amount of vegetation on the bottom. I'm not really wild about the fish tank flora that you see on some pieces, but this looks cool. It's a good accent. And the other thing that just jumps off the page is the clear, I assume it's clear resin that they used for the water effect, but it looks like there's water sitting in the bottom of this display. It's really cool. And then hopefully, for those of us who aren't crazy about placards, this one will be removable. It's cool though. Had to take one more look at these guys. I'm not a tune collector myself, but these are really interesting, cool looking little, little pieces. I hadn't seen the Bane before. He looks awesome. They all do, really. These are fun pieces. Okay, let's uh, let's check out the Coda Bakia booth. Looks like for DC, pieces they're focusing on are Batman Who Laughs. Not sure the scale on this guy. Looks like it could be tw mm, 12 scale, maybe. Could be wrong. Don't hold me to it. Looks cool though. Kota Bakia does a great job. Detail looks good on the suit, on the hands. Base is cool if you like logo bases. Then looks like they brought a prototype of the Joker picture of the painted version. Interesting take on the character. And looks like it's coming in March. And then from Titans, they've got Nightwing. Pretty interesting. Again, did a nice job on the textures, the finishes. Got this cool contrast in the level of glossiness between the blue on his suit and his batons, his gloves, and the pants. Not sure about the base. Looks kind of well, somewhat oversized maybe, I don't know. Looks all right. And then as always, Kota Bakia has a strong focus on the Star Wars side. They've got a couple of new cool looking pieces from the Mandalorian which I know a lot of us are looking forward to, including myself. A Mandalorian and this IG-11 character that looks fun. Gotta love a robot who wears his armor around his shoulders. <laughs> and ammunition, I mean, actually. Looks like they've got a couple, couple of new pieces coming on the Star Wars side. New Kylo Ren prototype. And then these Sith Troopers. And lastly on the Kotokia side, I thought I'd show you the Marvel stuff that they brought with. Just one small case, but some cool pieces. These actually, for, for me, they these look probably better than their DC 
offering, at least what they're showing here. The Odinson Thor piece looks awesome. The detail and finishes on these look outstanding. Really cool Iron Man. The concept on that one looks fantastic. And then this Marvel piece looks, I'm sorry, Hulk piece looks really cool also. 